What up, y'all? Before we get going here, I want to let you all know that we are booking hunts here at Sandhill Flyways for the 2022-23 season coming up. If y'all are interested in booking a hunt and coming here to hunt with us for three days, we have two different packages this year. Uh, there's package details on the website. The website is always linked down in the description below. On this video, I will put it at the top. So, we are rebooking uh, returning clients from this past season, and then it will open to the public. And what I would like to ask any of you out there with groups of eight, that's what we are inviting first and foremost, full groups of eight or more buddies that wanna come here together and enjoy three days of great food, great lodging, great camaraderie, and phenomenal central Kansas hunting. Again, the website is down below. Do not waste your time if you are interested in doing so because this will go very, very fast. It always does. It honestly always does. And a lot of people are like, hey, do you have room? And I'm like, no, we don't. And usually we're done booking by July or something. This year it could be crazier. So don't waste your time. Get a hold of me. I would love to hear from all of you. Let's get into this one. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Much different video today. Uh, much, much different. Um, a laid back video. A video that I think that y'all are gonna really like. And that is uh, me telling you what I have learned, you know? Uh, my buddy Derek on Instagram, big shout out to you, Derek, for giving me this idea. Uh, but virtually what I'm talking about, like, look at this, uh-huh. The old stovepipe action, uh-huh. Been chasing coyotes in the Can-Am, trying to make videos. It's really fun, and I know you guys will like them. But anyways, big shout out to Derek for giving me this idea. He was like, dude, I love your charisma, first of all. He was like, but this is why he, he told me this. Uh, on my story on Instagram, I was like, hey guys, like, what videos would you want to see? You know, what how-to videos do you want to see? What, uh, what just, um, you know, gun videos, any type of how, you know, the old Foul Fridays, the Mythbuster videos, anything like that. And he was like, it'd be nice to hear what you've learned over the past year or two of guiding. Like, and not just guiding, like uh, running, like a lot of it is guiding, but even with the YouTube channel, what I've learned. And, and what I've learned and what you guys have watched me learn, but we've never really touched on that subject, right? I'm always trying to teach you guys something. And, and maybe it's, maybe you guys get more entertainment out of watching me learn, right? I think that's why YouTube, you know, kind of exists is the YouTuber, no matter if it's fishing, no matter if it's, you know, mechanics, anything, we're all learning together. You get to watch the YouTuber progressively learn over years, whatever it is, farming practices, crop management, um, anything. There's everything on YouTube, right? And I exist because I've always taught you guys something. That's why I exist. That's why all these YouTube channels exist. We teach you something. Unless you're just, the you know, entertaining ones that don't teach you much but whatever um, what I'm getting at is like there's one thing one thing in particular that I have learned um, with you with having the YouTube channel with having ducks right ducks the YouTube channel my videos the guide service the clientele the hunting and all those things mixed together and all those things, they come down to one big theory. And that's what I'm getting at. Uh, the one thing that I want to talk about today. And it is uh, controlling controllables. And, I, and it, that doesn't just mean for your business. That doesn't just mean uh, for guiding, for hunting, for YouTube. It means for your life and, and what your goals are in life and what you're trying to pursue, right? Controlling the controllables that's the the one thing that i've learned the most and that one theory like i said you broadcast it over everything your everyday life everything you do for example earlier i pulled up out back here had to do some things 
looked at the trailer. I was like, oh, what's that? That's a flat tire. First flat tire on the Ducks trailer that I've ever had. So I wasn't expecting it. I've kind of been expecting it because I have never replaced those tires. And I've had that trailer for every bit of three to four years. Probably right at four years now. And I mean, check it out. The tires still have a good amount of tread left. They're not worn. So what I'm getting at, things pop up. And controlling your controllables are what we're going to talk about today. So, uh, what do, I don't know, a few days, a couple days, sometime soon. Whoa. I'm headed north and, uh, northeast, uh, Missouri, Iowa area. And we're going to do some snow goose hunting with old Bonzel, Austin, old, uh, old Banjo. And, uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Me, Brad, Preston, we're all going up there. He has a pit blind marsh, and uh, we're going to sit all my white decoys out there and uh, put the e-collar out there and try to shoot some snow geese. So I have a few days before I leave, so I'm going to go ahead and air up this tire, let it sit here, and see if it starts leaking again. Instead of waiting until the day before I leave or the morning I leave, airing it up and just getting on the road and having it blow out on me. Again, controlling controllables. You know, don't be lazy. Get ahead of the game. See what's wrong with something. Figure it out. Don't let it surprise you again. It already surprised me once in the driveway. I don't want to be surprised on the highway 200, 300 miles from home. Just goes to show, guys. The world's changing. A lot of dads don't teach these things anymore. A lot of these things don't exist. Dads, a lot of dads, the dads that do, hey, thank you. A lot of dads don't teach their boys uh, what a three-quarter inch in wrench is. What's that? What's a crescent wrench? What's that? And they got to go on YouTube and learn it themselves. So, that's what today's video is about. It is beautiful outside. Back by the old decoy. The old decoy station, the bird cleaning station. We were so busy out here this season. The last two seasons I've learned so much. And that's what we're going to just chill out here together. Um, and I, I just want to talk to you guys and, and kind of give you my two cents on stuff. And, and a lot of this stuff that I'm about to say, maybe it'll help a lot of you out there. And just taking something that, again, I've learned and just me sharing it with you all, you know. So... First off, we're going to start with, uh, we'll go in order, hunting, YouTube, and guiding. And what all I learned in those things and what all you all can take from all three of those big things that I've had to wrestle, maintain, and control, right? Uh, manage, build, get better at, all those things. So first of all, hunting. If you want to be invited on the next hunt with your buddies, and if you want to be invited on every hunt, provide. Scout when you can. Show up on time. Show up. Show up to work. Pull your weight. Those three things right there will get you invited back on a hunt. Um, same thing with a farmer. If you want to keep hunting on a farmer and have permission on him, do what you say you're going to do. If you, if you say it, do it. Be about what you say. If you say you're going to do something, do it. Follow through. So management, you know, don't rely on other people to do your job. Um, if you're like, hey, if you want to get there early, Joe, go ahead, drive in, and you can start setting the spread. Well, what if it's wet and Joe just goes on in there, your buddy Joe, right? And so then he's getting, in, getting you in trouble with the farmer. So just management, looking out for yourself, looking out for your name, um, and and letting people see, uh, you know, I'm Bobby. I'm going to show up on time. You can rely on me, you know. If people can't rely on you, they ain't going to call you. They ain't going to invite you, put it that way. So hunting, show up, uh, do your thing. So we transition, I transitioned, I learned that hunting, I learned hunting, and then we started building the YouTube channel. 
And the YouTube channel was a different monster. It was a monster that I had no idea about. I had to learn as I went, day by day by day, with anything in life. And um, learning YouTube was a monster. I, I did not know a computer very well. I didn't know editing videos at all. I had never done it. The only thing I had was a GoPro that I never edited, that I never moved things on and off, SD cards and file management and all this stuff, right? So then it came to uploading and videos. I learned it. You put your, put your nose to the old grindstone and you put the time to learn something. Just like me, my spec calling needs a lot of help. And the only thing that is going to help it is me dedicating time to getting better at it. Just like YouTube. The video's got to go up. The time has to be dedicated, and with dedication to getting stuff done, every time you do it, you're going to get better. That's one thing that a lot of you out there, if, if you are um, thinking about making a, you know, a move in life, like just a move, like maybe to a different job, you know it's better, you know you can do it, it's, it's intimidating, it's better money, but it's intimidating and it scares you. Don't let fear control you if you do that guess what you don't win we all have I, I believe we all have one life and like a lot of us probably think and uh you got that one life to do something don't worry about other people and them gonna judge you if you fail at least you tried give your 110 percent on everything you do control your controllables once you learn how to be in control and, and just go after things, it gets addictive. I'm telling you, confidence is key. So I'm getting off on a tangent like I knew I would on this video because this is a very deep subject to, to me and, and uh, I'm a deep person, I really am. And, and uh, So uh, YouTube, learning, learning you guys, learning what you guys wanted to see, what you guys wanted to learn. Again, putting the time and attention and detail to reading the comments and hearing you guys and, and you know looking at the view averages okay well they like duck hunting way better than goose hunting we better do more duck hunting videos you know and where I'm at we don't get more duck hunting than goose hunting we get more goose hunting than duck hunting so that makes that difficult but oh they like public land hunting well now with gu guiding I can only public land hunt before guide season right so um, those things are out of my hands you, you know now my hands are tied with doing all the buddy hunting that you guys miss during guide season I'm running my business now and and again I'm running it and managing it and make sure making sure every day that it's running how it needs to be and so uh, YouTube learning you guys and and building the channel that's why the channel built was because again time dedicated to learning and making something better that's what personal business owners that's our jobs any of you guys that are personal business owners or or anything just even a manager um, a store manager or any type production management any type of thing where job where you have to be in control heck being a parent it's the same thing you're parenting your children and you're managing I'm getting tongue-tied you're managing their life so they can become better humans right that's your job. Same thing with everything you do in life. Put the attention, put the time, and put the detail, and it'll get better. Give it time. Give everything time. I know. I just get off on these spills, but... The third thing... I, <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please drop a comment down below, first of all. Let me know if you like uh, the glasses. I have to wear them. Allergy season is coming upon us really quickly here with the highs being in the 60s. My nose has been watering. I'm watering. My nose has been running and I'm sure on videos you guys have seen like a literal bubble like water dripping from my nose. It's not. I'm sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> but my eyes have gotten really just gunky and allergy like so it's time for some goggles for a little bit. Hope you guys enjoy the glasses back. I kind of forgot that I had them on. Um, but I hope I, I gave some, uh, before we get into the guiding thing, like I hope I gave some, um, I hope I made that make sense. Uh, all that ramble. If you don't 
care, right? So, so if you don't care enough to manage the obvious things in front of you, not caring will allow you not to succeed. It's, you're not going to succeed. Um, just doing the bare minimum will only get you so far. Um, now, doing the bare minimum sometimes will get you a little further. If you have good health and stuff, whatever, if you rely on other people to do what you need to be doing, sure. But that's only going to last so long. Uh, so moving into guiding, and I think that with the guiding, man, the the guide service is uh, a mat. It, it's it's farming, on uh, obviously, like honestly, it's it's farming. It's 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 nothing different um, from you know a cattle farmer, a dairy farmer having to tend and uh, to to cows all night long who are who are having babies and birthing and calving out and and having to go to help deliver a calf at 2 a.m. in the morning like having clients on my property hunting six days a week so I know that sounds cool to a lot of people and it is cool but when you hunt six days a week and you want to provide you hunting six days a week is easy anyone can go out to a random field put up a spread and hunt right but we're providing, we're, we're trying to do our best to kill birds. We want you to kill birds. We want to kill birds just as much as you kill birds. Not us actually shooting them, but you need to be killing birds. We want you to be on the birds just, I mean, more than we do. So, that being said, like, providing six great hunts and more, if I'm running, you know, two groups, that's 12 hunts a week. That's a lot. And it's stressful. It is one of the most stressful things that I've experienced. I thought that uploading and, and uploading on time and all this all this YouTube stuff was stressful. Oh no. Oh no. There's I've never done something quite as comparable as guiding. And there's there's services out there that are great and there's services out there that maybe aren't so great. And everyone's standard it's different, but uh, I care enough to make sure we're great and great at everything. Like Chef Bert, whatever he needs at all times, cooking up the food. Uh, the clients all the time, what whatever they need, whatever questions they have. Um, my crew, all the boys here, all the guides, all the scouts, um, making sure they're taken care of all the time. Uh, them tending to the clients, they do more than me a lot of times just because I'm kind of doing the back end sometimes or the front end, so I'm everywhere. YouTube takes over some, a lot of times, you know. So building a good team, that was extremely helpful. But again, if I didn't care enough, I wouldn't have built a good team, all right? So I guess just uh, being who... Being who you believe you are is important. Is important, and and that's something that I've been working on more and more and more and more and more. Being who I believe I am, right? Like uh, truly trying to better that part um, is important, and and bettering. I believe that the one the one of the biggest, most important things in life, one of the biggest secrets, if I was to share at 35 years of age, which is still very young, and I'm not trying to act like I know a poop, uh, always trying to better yourself. Not money, not your house, better yourself. Uh, how you interact with other people, how much love you shed around you, how much you help people, how much you give back, how much you don't expect. Don't expect anything from people. All those things, making yourself better, being more giving, um, taking in everything all the time, and, and honestly, um, just living day to day and, and uh, appreciating and loving others, man. A lot of people, that's hard. That's hard. But if you can do that, I promise you a lot of other things are going to come and, and get better in your life. And sorry, I'm gotten off on another tangent. 
What I'm getting at is this ride has been insane and y'all have been here with me the whole time. Learning YouTube, learning, get, getting better at hunting. Heck, y'all watch my progression on how I got better at duck and goose calling, right? Y'all have been here with me and, and these are some of the things today that I wanted to cover with y'all and just kind of take a step back and go back in time and go over and talk about with you guys. And I know that I kind of sped over things, but it's hard to really like get in depth when we're talking about everything, you know, cause um, I'm just a man. I'm just a regular dude that uh, went out on a limb, looked, or I had a buddy that was like, you need to be a YouTuber. You need to be a YouTuber. You need to do waterfowling. You need to teach how to, people how to duck call and sit spreads and all this I'm like you're crazy sure enough I did a little research because I wanted to make my life better I always dreamed about being my own boss right I, that, that was my biggest goal in life but I knew I was smart enough I knew I had enough drive to be my own boss and and own something successful now, successful, whatever scale that would end up on, who cares, but just doing it. Confidence, guys. Have confidence in yourself. I'm going to get pumped up here because it's true. Dadgummit, it's true. And um, I really want to thank my buddy Derek for uh, giving me this idea. If you guys have any ideas kind of that spawn off of this video, and I hope you guys liked it, please smash a thumbs up if you did. With hunting season going away, uh, waterfowl season going away, the views have kind of went like this. So I just want to, I want to know what you guys want to see. I know you want to see a little bit of crow hunting. I haven't heard any crows around for a while since the last real deep cold lifted. I haven't been seeing them. I will scout for some crows. I will scout for some pigeons. But we're waiting on turkey season and we're waiting, um, gosh, what else are we waiting on? Turkey season. We just went shed hunting the other day. Bodhi found his first shed. I didn't film it. We just were having fun as a family like we needed. So let me know if you like this video. Thank you all for being here. Remember uh, all of uh, every, anybody that wants to come to Sand Hill, we have started the booking process. Um, we are going through our rebooking process right now for all the clients that have, were here this last season. We will get them taken care of, then we'll move on to the public and new clients. Remember, we're looking for groups of eight. Uh, it's kind of an eight minimum right now to book the lodge. So get a group of eight buddies, come book the lodge, come experience Sand Hill. Uh, we've worked our butt off to build it, what it is today in two years. I, I believe uh, we have done the best that we possibly have could. So pretty proud of it. Not gonna lie, I want you all to come experience it. If, if you are interested in booking a hunt here at Sand Hill, no matter how many people you have, please go down in the description below, sandhillflyways.com, click on the link. Uh, Beth just got done revamping the entire website. All new media, all new content. We have two different packages of hunts now, so go check it out. Uh, when you get there, you'll inquire to book. And on one of the package, it'll say book, inquire to book. And you'll click it, you'll put in your information, and then we, we will be giving you a call here shortly. It'll either be Beth or I giving you a call and seeing if we can get your butts here. But thank you all for being here yet again. Without y'all, I wouldn't be here. Old Frederick, he wouldn't be here. Would you, buddy? He really wouldn't. He came from one of you guys, a subscriber that said, Bob, do I have a puppy for you? That's how special the YouTube channel is. And thank you guys. It means the world to me to have you here in my life with me, taking it all in, seeing what's up. But see you guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Guys,